Business owners need reliable data about their potential customers, competition, and market to make data-driven decisions. In this Data Gem, we will show you how you can use Census Business Builder to visualize and analyze the most current demographic and business data in your market or area of interest. Hi, I'm Nadal Gibran with the Economic Directorate. To start, you can find the Census Business Builder several ways. The easiest is to go to cbb.census.gov. Also, you can go to the Data Tools from the Census Bureau homepage. Lastly, you can use your preferred search engine to find CBB. You can either type in a particular geography or select the Find My Location icon to the left of the search box to find your location. To do this, you will have to have location services turned on in order for it to work. First, let's select the geography by typing on the search box. We recommend you start at the county level to view the most data. In this case, we are typing Fairfax County, Virginia into the search box. Once you've selected your geography, the dashboard will populate with the default data variables. This includes total population, median household income, percent high school degree or higher, all employer establishments, and home ownership rate. You can also customize your dashboard to display the information that is relevant to your business need. Say you'd like to find the best place to open an upscale bar or lounge, and you would like to know about your potential customer base. Then you might want to focus on variables such as total population over 21 years and median household income. You might also want to know about other businesses like yours. In that case, you can look at variables such as total number of employers and non-employers, average payroll per employee, and population per employer for bars and cocktail lounges. There are a few ways to do this. You can select your first map variable from the top banner or within the dashboard. In this case, let's add percent 21 years and over as our first variable. Since we are looking for a demographic variable, we want to make sure that our primary category is set to consumers residents and our secondary category is set to demographic characteristics. From here, select percent 21 years and over and you'll notice the dashboard is automatically updated. Click anywhere outside of the menu to close it. You can add a second variable as well. Again, you can do this by clicking on the top banner or by selecting within the dashboard. In this case, let's target median household income. Look for median household income under the socioeconomics characteristics subcategory and make the selection. Let's click on the chevron to collapse the dashboard and see our updated map better. You now have an informative visualization that shows you the concentration of both of these variables on the map. Use the legend to guide you here. The first map variable is located in the first section of the legend, percent 21 years and over. Scroll down to see the second map variable, median household income. The first map variable is displayed as colors and the second map variable will always be displayed as circles. The size and color of the circle represents the number. Census Business Builder allows you to create reports based on the geographies and industries you've selected. These reports will provide you with all of the variables available in the Census Business Builder, not just those on the dashboard, including information about similar businesses in your industry, which could help guide your business decisions. So first, let's settle on a geography for our business. Looking at the map, Arlington County, Virginia seems like a strong candidate because we see it has a high percent of population over 21 with a higher income level. Clicking on Arlington County, we can open the dashboard to see the statistics. Once we select this geography, we want to create an industry profile so that we can better understand local economic conditions for this industry. There are a few ways to select your industry. At the top left, you will see the all sectors option. You can select an industry by typing it in the search for industries bar. You can search by the industry name or by the North American Industrial Classification System code or NAICS. You can also click on the Add Industry button. This brings you to a pre-selected list of industries. Select Food Services and then select Bars from the options available. If you would like to learn more about the NAICS code, click on the arrow next to the industry. Select Create Report from the dashboard and Census Business Builder will generate a downloadable 
customizable and shareable report in a separate tab. Scroll down to the business summary section. In this section, you can evaluate economic data for similar businesses in your geography. Such data includes number of employer establishments, average payroll per employee, average revenue per employer, average revenue per employee, firm job gains and losses, etc. This will give you a good picture of the economic conditions that await you if you decide to open a business in this location. And there you have it. Within a few minutes, we were able to visualize and identify potential geographies that might make sense for opening an upscale bar. Census Business Builder also offers features that allow you to analyze a cluster of industries together or businesses within a region. This tool is also now optimized for viewing on mobile devices. For more videos like this, you can visit census.gov forward slash academy. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe so you never miss a chance to learn with us.